It's 9.12, it's X-Factor time. If there's a favourite performance from the weekend that you want to hear from one of the remaining X-Factor acts, all you have to do is tell us who it was to 53981 and we'll play their performance very shortly. So if you're watching last night's X-Factor, Katie Wazel and Tracy ended up in the bottom two. Cheryl Cole is their mentor and she refused to vote. It's caused a huge fallout. Tony Kells with us this morning. Tony, good to talk to you. Good morning, Aiden. Claire. Good morning, Tony. <laughs> Tony, what's going on? There's a lot of anger over what happened last night. Well, there appears to be, doesn't there? Yeah. Yeah. But uh, in the words of Connie Huck, oh, what a lovely show. No, and the, she tried to explain <laughs> this um, on, on the Extra Factor, and uh, I ought to do this. I mean, she said the reason it did not go to deadlock uh, is because Cheryl abstained. So, therefore, naturally, it does become a majority vote, which is what Dermot explained. But then, of course, there was a timing issue as well. So um, you could argue if Dermot had the time, he should have gone back to Cheryl and pushed her and said, look, you must make a decision. Mm. And then maybe things would have been different. But there was a, you know, there was a, it was quite confusing, I've got to be honest with you. And, the, and they did physically run out of time. When the show has to finish, it has to finish. Yes, but wasn't it convenient that they didn't go to deadlock? Because if it did, yep. it probably would have been Katie, right? Well, a lot of people are saying that. And, uh, you, you know, you may be right. Um, I don't think, I think Simon explained his decision decision um, uh, quite uh, quite clearly in the sense that uh, Tracy he said had a better vocal but Kate is the more interesting artist and I really get that uh, I do recall um, Tony in, in times gone by that if somebody refuses to vote they, they were made vote now I know as we were saying this, mm-hmm. there was a timing issue but I can remember yeah. was it even Sharon Osbourne oh yeah, I, I, can't, I, right. can't, I can't I can't I can't I can't and Lou have does to. it often enough as well yeah, yeah. but you have like, as Dermot yeah. said it's your role and if people are yeah. texting and voting and then the judges aren't doing their job, you know, people are going to be really peeved, aren't they? Yeah, I, I do I do agree with that. And, um, you know, for whatever reason, if Cheryl decided to do it, and, you know, just to say, no, don't ask me, I'm not going to get rid of one of my acts. I mean, it's up to her, isn't it? You know, th- this isn't scripted, Aidan. You mm. know, Simon doesn't tell them what to do. Um, but, um, and, and these things happen, as he said after the show to me. Look, this is a live show, Tony. This, this is what goes on. Yeah. You, you know, that that is the facts of the matter. So tell us, Mary Byrne, our Mary Byrne didn't mm. do as well as she has no. done in previous weeks and um, there was some talk about her kind of having a tough week well she did yeah I did speak to her just before she went on the show last night and uh, she was kind of a little bit emotional and said oh I mucked up I mucked up I had a really bad week and I didn't get much sleep and um, and I just didn't pull it together on Saturday you have you have a bad day you know when Mary can be so confident yeah. and there's not a you know a note out of place when she does those real good power ballads that's what she does best in my opinion but um you know, she admitted, um, I did it wrong. She's arguing at the moment with Louis a little bit about the song choices, and I think next week, and I'll tell you about that um, uh, ne- uh, next week, but <laughs> see, I think she was, she was going to get her way with the song she wants to do. Yeah, because I feel, I mean, Faith Hill, I, I do love that song, Tony, but yeah. I reckon because she didn't know it herself, no. that's mm. why she struggled with it. She could, yeah. you, know, you know, if you're in the middle of singing something and you go off key, you can go back if you know the song well. But yeah, she totally. only... You know, she'd only learned it that week and she'd only learned the, lo- the vocals this week, so... Yeah, I know, it's difficult and, um, you know, this is what happens and it's all, you know, I keep on saying this, Simon does it, says the same thing, it is about the song choice and when you get it right, like Sher did the other week, you know, that's it, you're off and running. Yes. All right, did Wagner get it right? <laughs> Well, look, oh. Wagner's, Wagner's wheels are still rolling, aren't they? His <laughs> Wagner wagon keeps on rolling. <laughs> nice. And uh, I don't know. Way. I said last week that, you know, isn't it time that Wagner left and um, we've got, you know, he didn't go. Mm. And uh, perhaps, you know, one of these girls shouldn't have gone instead of him. But uh, I think, to be honest with you, just to go back on to I think Tracy, as far as I'm concerned, was, uh, was ready to go. Right. I, mean, that it, she just, I just didn't connect and she wasn't connecting with the audience. But, um, but Wagner, you know, people are voting. Again, Simon said to me last night, look, Tony... If people are voting for him, again, this is what the show's all about. We can't stop it. It's the Jedward effect, really, isn't it? People just uh, uh, maybe are getting behind them, not for his talent, obviously, but just for the crack of keeping him in. Mm. Yeah, I think some people are having, you know, fun with this. But, you know, again, if, if it's a voting competition, that's what happens. Now, there's a bit in the paper today over here, Tony, about uh, One Direction and whether mm-hmm. they were miming or not. Really? Mm. Oh, I didn't notice that. Yeah, because what they're saying is Zayn uh, has missed his cue on several occasions in their performances and they're wondering, mm. are they actually singing live? Well, everyone sings live and, uh, unless it's, uh, you know, what, they, even a pre-record as it was the other week, um, they sing live. Um, but no, I must admit, I actually didn't notice that at all. That wasn't any... And what do you reckon with this, um, you know, this week was supposed to be American 
um, anthems, anthems. Yeah. And you know, Simon got a little bit of criticism when when he he chose that one, Kids in America. Mm-hmm. I mean, it wasn't Louis was saying it wasn't even a hit in America. Mm-hmm. Isn't that naughty? <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to say, Claire. <laughs> Simon gets away with whatever he wants. Looks his show. <laughs> now next week, what we can look forward to is uh, it's boy bands, isn't it? Mm. Well, we got um, well, yeah, we've got uh, on the Sunday results show. We've got uh, three massive boy bands: Westlife, Take That, and JLS on the show. Incredible. But uh, I have to say, last night there was a last-minute um, change of theme uh, for next week's show. Oh, uh, but I'll be telling you about that later. Uh, th- there is no later. It happens now. Tommy. Oh, Come well, on. no, I can't. But um, it's still being sorted out. So it's always sort oh. of last-minute lil, as I call Simon. Um, and in <laughs> in now the you know the kids have all got to sort of choose their songs of what they're going to do. They have to put in 12 songs and then it's all cut down to which of the favourite two. So it's the pressure's on. So are you saying that it's not boy bands next week and we can't expect to see Westlife JLS and take that on the show? No, they are on the show, on okay. the results show on Sunday. We're talking about the theme on Saturday. Okay. Tony, before you go, I just want to give yeah. you a flavour of the kind of text we're getting in this morning. It says, uh, this is just one that's just popped in, X Factor has turned into a farce. If Katie is such an interesting performer, then we all want to see what, uh, see why she wouldn't be in the bottom two all the time. Why wouldn't mm-hmm. she be in the bottom two mm-hmm. if she Good was point. that interesting? Mm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I think she's just had, a, you know, again, negative press. And I think people are just... Well, look, I mean, it's been unprecedented sort of press coverage, uh, Claire, this whole series, far, far, far more than last year. And um, uh, some some have been quite unfair, and I'm including uh, Wagner's, I'm including uh, the press on Katie and on Cher. Mm. One more for you. Uh, a and Sandyford wants to know, is there fears of a Rage Against the Machine type fiasco with the public voting for uh, Wagner simply to destroy the show's reputation? What do you think, Tony? Well, there, there is a little campaign going on, but uh, again, as Simon said, look, you can't stop it. Um, just let it roll. Roll with it. So, could you, would you have any predictions about who's to go next if if, uh, if Wagner has this campaign behind him? Maybe he's going to stick around? Well, I'm, I'm not going to do what I said last week and say <laughs> that Wagner's going to go next week. Um, you know, I, what I will say is he should do, perhaps. Yes. But, um, uh, no, I mean, I think I'm still obviously very worried about Katie, but I'm also worried about Mary, and I don't want mm. that yes. to happen. So, Mary's got, as I said, she's got this decision that a p- particular song she wants to do next week, if she gets her way, she'll be absolutely spot on. I know it. OK, Excellent. well, we look forward to that. Uh, it's a pleasure to talk to you as always Tony your favourite performance of the weekend oh my god has to be Matt brilliant you're from Matt as well everyone has voted in that's the song they want to hear that's what we're going to play now Tony we'll talk to you next week fantastic thank you guys thanks Thanks, Tony. Tony